Shalom. I like to start by saying Kal Halal Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word in sincerity and truth across the four corners of the earth. What we're going to talk about today is members of the same mind. Right? So, you know, in this truth, in this truth, you know, everyone's a member. We're all members of the same mind and the same body. Right? The mind, Yahweh Shai, the spirit, body, the same thing, Yahweh Shai, spirit. So, Yahweh Shem Shai, to be correct. Um, and we all have a role. It's just like a body, you have fingers, toes, nails, joints, hair, eyes, nose. Right? They all have their role, but they're all like, there, there are singular things that do their own specific thing, but together they have their role, right? They make the body function properly. So, for example, I remember it was um, an elder, uh, actually it was an apostle, that was talking about this. I don't remember which lesson it was, but they were talking about that, you know, if one brother doesn't put up his lessons or his videos, right? He's supposed to put three videos a week, and he doesn't do that. Now the other member of the same body has to pick up the slack. So it's like on a football team, you have you have your whole team, but then you have the weakest link. And then since your weakest link is weak, he's being lazy, right? Then not going in his training, not getting stronger. Now he's weak, so the other players have to pick up the slack of what he's doing. So say he had to pick up, he had to do 100 push-ups, and he only did like 30. Now the rest of the teammates have to pick up the slack for that one guy because he's lazy. He didn't want to do the work to get stronger in his training. So now they have to do extra work because he can't do it. Right? So members of the same body, of the same mind. So we're all of the same mind, right? We should be in agreement. So we're going to start off at 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that here and there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. So, right, it's saying that that ye all speak the same thing. So when you're preaching, when you're making videos, when you're on the, the highways and byways. When you're even talking, you have to be speaking the same thing. I can't have uh, 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 variation or difference in the scripture. Now, if you know, like if you, if you don't know something, then humbly just say you don't know, right? Don't lie and try and spin things. Because now you're lying. And how about Shemayi Hashem is not about lies. But if you don't know, you don't know. Right? Even if you're making a lesson, you might, I actually don't know this. I'm definitely going to find out. Just rather be a humble, just hu be humble and just say you don't know than try to lie. Right? So, that ye speak the same thing. So, when you're speaking, you have to speak the same thing that other brothers are saying and other brothers are saying and all the brothers are saying. You can't have different uh, um, philosophies. There's only one. There's only one word. Right? So, all of you have to be speaking the same thing. That be and that there be no divisions among you. So like in camp, can't be any divisions among you, right? Can't be like oh like I hate that brother, you know, I uh, have problems with that brother. You know what I mean? Like you can't be doing that. I haven't experienced that, but I mean, I'm, if it's in the scriptures, that means it must it must be happening. You know, but he's telling you not to do it, right? And you understand you're still in the flesh, so yeah, you're going to get in your emotions, something happens, but you just can't be doing that. I guess a brother. You just can't. Just squash whatever it is, deal with it, and move on. But that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind. So you have to be in the same mind. You have to be thinking the same thing. Right? That's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to go to Romans 12. And four. <clears throat> four. 
For as we, Romans 12 and 4, For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. <laughs> so we, being many, this is verse 5, are one body in Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, and every one member is one of another. So, for as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same of not the same office. So basically, what I just said, right? Um, you know, you have different members, like different, just like a body, right? You have the arms, the fingers, the toes, um, the eyes, the ears, all you know, the tongue, the mouth. They all are. Um, They're all different members, right? Right? They're all, well, they're all members, right? And all the members not have the same office. So they don't all have the same job. They all have different jobs. But they're still all members. So they're still part of the same body. But they have different jobs. Right? Different offices. Okay? So you're still, you're still part of the same body. You just have different jobs. Everybody's going to have different jobs. And even here it says in verse 5, So we being many are one body in Yahushua and Mashiach, and every one member is one of another. So every one member is one of another in the sense that every one member is one of another. We're all of the same body. We're all members, right? Even though we have different jobs, we're still all members of the same body. So we're all one of another, Right? They're all connected. I'm gonna go to First Corinthians First Corinthians six and fifteen. First Corinthians six and fifteen. Now ye not that your bodies are the members of Yahweh Shai? Shall I then take the members of Yahweh Shai and make them the members of an harlot? Yahweh forbid. Right? Are you saying that you guys don't know that you're members of Yahweh Shai? Of course you are. So we're all members of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Go to 1 Corinthians 12 and 12. For as the body is one and hath many members, so one body, many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Yahweh Shai. Right? We're in Matthew 5. We're going to read from 29 to 30. And if, Matthew 5 and 29, And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee. For it is, pro for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not the whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. So basically, the scripture is saying, so like, um, like okay. Okay, we can talk about just the, the, the you know, brothers in truth, Lord willing, Lord elect. But in camp, right, you got a, a brother who is offending, right? Another brother causing problems, right? Right? Offending, causing problems, causing too much issues, pluck him out. Right? The elder or probably of the camp would probably just like, yeah, you gotta go. You're done. You're done here. Or they'll suspend him or they'll get rid of him. Because he's a he's a, a bad seed. 
right? He's offending. He's too. He's too much problems, too much trouble. Just like on a team, right? You have like um, teams that are running good, but then you have that one bad seed, that cancer on the team, right? What do you do with cancer? You cut it out. Get rid of it, right? Same thing. Right? The team's very important. Being members of one body. First Corinthians 12 and 25. 12 and 25, and we're going to read 25 to 30. That there should be no sh uh, schism in the body. So schism is like division. Schism means division. Um, in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. So brothers should have the same care for one another. I remember one of the elders saying that um, we were in capital time, and he said that, you know, if a brother needs help, you should treat it as if Yahweh Shai is asking for help. Right? At the end of the day, that's how you should treat that brother. Like, it's Yahweh Shai. Because that's how brother Yahweh Shai uh seeing the, the apostles as his brothers right so you, if a brother needs help or something you treat him as your brother so same right here it says but uh i'll start for 25 that there should be no sh uh schism i believe i'm pronouncing that right that could be pronouncing it wrong slack yeah in the body but that the members should have the same care for one another care of one slack yeah but the but that the members should have the same care one for another. Okay? And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, yeah, if we... If we, if we it's just like on a team. It's the same thing. But this is just a spiritual team. It's the most important team in, in the, on the planet. Sp spiritually. It's most, which is more important anyways. It's the most important team. So if one member is suffering, everyone's suffering, right? In that sense. Except for the fact that one member is suffering. Or one member be honored, all members are going to rejoice, right? Now ye are the body of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and members in particular. And Yahweh hath said some in the church, first apostles, secondary prophets. So it's going through the order who's in, of the head, you know, order of um, order of command, if you want to think about that, right? And Yahweh has said some in the church, first apostles, secondary prophets, thirdly teachers. After that, miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret? Right? Right, because even though as it goes back to beginning of this lesson even though we are members with different offices we all have different jobs some are teachers some are apostles some are um prophets right some have miracles right and gifts of healing how government diversity of tongues some can speak different tongues we all have different offices or jobs but yet we're still members of the same body right so Right? The main thing is we have to have the same mind. Because we have one mission here. Even though we have different offices, our mind is still the same. We all have different talents. But our mind is still the same. Right? So be one of the elect, Lord willing. Anyways, um, that's it on that. I will end off by saying, Ka halal Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone. And to the hopeful elect, pushing his word in sincerity and truth across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to his wicked kingdom, and a two thirds as well. Shalom.